Gotta love it, right? Okay, I think we're good now. I'm gonna flip my phone back around. This, my friends, is why we as demonstrators do not like to mess around with our phone during a Facebook Live because it's so easy to disconnect. Ugh, it's horrible. So, I hope you guys all figure out that I've got a new live going. Yeah. I'm just going to get set up again. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are all laughing. Whatever, right? <laughs> it is what it is. You can't get too worried about it. Okay, so back to our project. I'm going to take this piece of Whisper White and I'm going to put it in the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. Now, I wanted to tell you guys before I decided to mess with my phone and destroy everything <laughs> that um, are any of our embossing folders that carried over from the last catalog or the holiday mini catalog they're being remanufactured by our new manufacturer for all of our dye stuff so you cannot order them right now but they are going to be orderable soon any of the new embossing folders in the new catalog you can order just not the old ones that came from a different catalog into the this one we call them the carryovers so you may not be able to order this right now but it will be available again Pinewood Planks is one of those dynamic folders. It's super thick. So if I were to emboss this, it's going to look like this. And I absolutely love that wood grain, and I love to do it on white. It's just so cool. Now, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. And I'm going to show you how to cover your piercing mat with paper. And this is going to cover up the fact that I forgot to do this before I went live. So I just put my paper on here. I pull it nice and snug. And I've got a, um, a tape dispenser right in front of me. And I just pull that and tape it. Pull it. Snug it up really good. Whoops. And that's how I do this. Woohoo! Did I cover well for myself? <laughs> All right. The smaller of these two pieces, we are going to do a little bit of stamping on. So I've got Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and Granny Apple Green. We're just going to get these open. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Um, somebody said this is part of the reason why I so look forward to your lives. <laughs> All real, no phony baloney. Bonnie Kelly, I love you. Mwah. <laughs> I'm glad you see it that way because there's really nothing I can do about it. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Just got to roll with it. Okay, I'm going to use Memento Black Ink first. And I'm going to use this beautiful image of like lilacs. I mean, at least that's what I think it looks like is lilacs. And I am going to, let me see if I can figure out how I did this. I'm going to stamp this on the smaller piece. Yep, this is how I did it. Okay. Now you guys have to remember, I did this before I left for Nashville. And I was telling Steve when I was out in the garage before I went live that Oftentimes, I, I had to come in here and kind of look at my cards that I had made before I left for Nashville because I can't even remember how I did it. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Like, you think that that's just crazy, but it's true. Okay, then I've got the smallest of the stitched shape framelits here, the smallest circle, and I've already die cut that, and I'm just going to stamp in black this little hello, and I'm going to stand up so I can maybe get this right. Okay, good. Um, this hello is from the Magnolia set. Good morning, Magnolia. So just any little greeting will work fine. I had to kind of pull greetings in for my cards because this doesn't come with a greeting. You can just use whatever you would like. All right. Now. Oh, it's Wisteria. Donna just said lilacs up, Wisteria down. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> Hang on. Oh my goodness. There. Thank you. 
Yeah, I know my voice is way louder when I stand up, but I can't stand up for this whole thing. Like, that's too much. <laughs> There's my last sleep. Usually it's only three sneezes. Thank you for the bless yous. <laughs> I appreciate them. Okay, next, we are going to take, now this is a two-step stamping process. So we've got this wisteria thank you very much ladies who know your flowers and then the second part of it and I'm going to grab my Kleenex because I might sneeze again okay I think I'm done please be done okay um, I've got hair on my stamp now I'm going to ink this up this is the gorgeous scrape I'm going to ink this up in the gorgeous scrape and this stamps directly over top. So now you're going to hear my voice get louder again because I'm going to stand up so I kind of know what I'm doing here. So I can see what I'm doing. Here's the gorgeous scrape. And it looks super, super dark here. Don't worry about that. Now we're going to come in. Oh, you know what? I did do something different here. Um, see, I told you I wouldn't remember what I did. We're going to clean the stamp off and we're going to stamp again. So I want it to be more substantial than this. There's just two wisteria blooms hanging here. Notice how I know all about what those are now. <laughs> I'm going to take my black memento ink pad and I'm just going to ink this up. And I didn't ink this part up. Just this. You can see what I inked up here, right? And now I'm going to come down in here and let's see, what are we going to do here? We're just going to do this again. See how I stamped it right there? Yeah, we're just going to make it. I wanted it to be more substantial. I wanted more lilacs there. So I'm going to grab the um, gorgeous grape again. And I'm just going to stamp that over top. Okay, now doesn't that look cool? Like... Just make the stamp more. And now I've got Highland Heather, and I'm just going to come down in here and stamp in some Highland Heather to kind of fill it in and bring some more purple in. Yay! There's a little cool technique. Now, the leaves that are up here also have the image for the two-step stamping. There we go little bit of greenery in there. That's all I'm going to do there. And now we're going to put our card together. This little tiny panel is going to get layered onto the panel that's just a quarter inch bigger. And remember, this is two by four and then two and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we're just going to layer that white on white. And then uh, dimensionals. We're going to put this layer on dimensionals. Ooh, I have black on my fingers someplace. See that? Or maybe I, maybe that was there before. Well, there's a hair. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have these issues at home, too? I know you do. This is real life stamping. This is in the trenches with Kelly Atchison. <laughs> oh, um, da um, Darlis, I used um, Granny Apple Green. That's like, seems to be my favorite green now is Granny Apple Green. All right, so here goes. I've got my dimensionals ready. Now, I'm going to bring in some mini glue dots. And I decided that I always love the wood grain. It looks a little country to me when you put on some burlap ribbon. So I'm going to take the end of my burlap ribbon and I'm going to give it a diagonal snip just like that. Let that burlap just fly everywhere. <laughs> we can clean it up later. Okay. Do you guys have any big plans for um, in the United States by the way I know I've got people watching me all over the world but in the United States we have we celebrate the 4th of July on well obviously July 4th which is Thursday. Does anybody have any big plans for the 4th of July? I am going to take this ribbon now. I put mini glue dots on it. That's what I'm using. I want to move this up a little bit. That's what I'm using to keep my ribbon in place. And I just thought that would work really good. 
Now I've got it hanging off here a little bit. I'm going to cut that down. Okay. And then we're going to put this on here. Are you guys seeing this? How, um, mm, it's just like so, so pretty. And here we go. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, I may have screwed something up. We'll see shortly. Family picnic. Okay, hibernate with ear protection. Okay. I know our dog used to freak out over um, fireworks. So, yeah, it was a whole thing. And I know dogs don't like fireworks. Look at that. I put a Now, notice I put a dimensional here. I did not put a dimensional on the back of my circle because I do not want that dimensional to be on this piece. It's already raised up with dimensionals. So that's why I'm doing that. So sometimes you got to kind of think about what's happening with your card. And I'm just going to add my little hello there. Isn't it cute? And here comes our card base. We've already got that scored. Get that burnished good. I'm going to put this right on the front. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweating. And here comes some more hair. And apparently I'm shedding. I guess it is summer, right? I know my cats are shedding like crazy. They were out in the garage and Steve was petting them. And oh my gosh, hair was flying everywhere. Ugh. Okay, so what do you guys think? Linda says that her 48th anniversary is July 5th. Well, guess what, you guys? My anniversary is on July 4th, and I think it will be 27 years I have been married to that guy with the broken knees and the hacked up shoulder <laughs> and the fake neck vertebrae. And the <laughs> yeah, that guy out in the garage right now, 27 years, and we actually got married in Las Vegas on the 4th of July. <laughs> How crazy is that? So yeah, we've got Haley's birthday today, and it used to be my dad's birthday, and then on the 4th of July is our anniversary, on the 7th of July is my birthday, on the 11th of July is my brother's birthday, lots of July stuff going on. All right, so did I do anything else here? Yes, I did. Hang on. So in this stamp set is this stinking, adorable, little, like, sketchy, I don't want to say sketchy, like, naughty sketchy, but sketched like artwork sketched dragonfly and I'm going to stamp this little guy in the gorgeous grape and put him right there or her I think it's a him <laughs> Here we go. all right stamp an envelope up to match you can do whatever you'd like with that I am not going to do an envelope right now because I took up so much of your time showing you all the cards that I got and rambling on about my trip to Nashville so we're going to just keep moving along because I've got some more cool things to show you. All right. Sorry for the sniffles. You guys know that if I could, like, stop the sound and sniff, I would, but I can't. So, next, I don't know. I was just really in a purple mood, so we're doing purple again. And... Oh, it's Canada Day! Amy Todd said, and I just lost your post. I don't know where it went. I moved my screen and you were gone. Okay. Um, here, we have Highland Heather as our base. Happy Canada Day, you guys. And the rain ruined the fireworks, so that's great. Um, who's asking me if I'm going to Greece? I am going to Greece. Oh, do we have a mosquito? Oh, the dragonfly looks like a big mosquito. No, it's not. Uh, four and a quarter by 11. Scored at five and a half. Highland Heather cardstock. Next, I've got a piece of basic black, and this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then a piece of Whisper White that is three and three quarters by five. First thing I'm going to do here before I do any work is I'm going to stamp my greeting. My greeting is coming from the stitched all around stamp set. You know, I really have not used this much. I have seen it used so many times. I've used the Oh Darling, You Are Fabulous because I do have a lot of fabulous people in my life, I'm just going to say. But this stamp set is incredibly gorgeous. It's a great greeting set. So we're going to use the Oh Darling, You Are Fabulous, of course, right? <laughs> I'm using that with the Memento Black ink. Hang on, i got to blow my nose. I don't want to sniffle for you guys. I hope you can't hear that. 
but I'm sure you probably can. Oh, I feel so much better. So my sinuses are finally like not being so plugged up. Making me feel rather good. I'm going to stamp this first because if I get it crooked, I can turn it over and try again. I don't want to do a whole bunch of work to this card front and then stamp my greeting and have it crooked, right? So lots of times what I recommend is you think about the, um, the uh, order of the things that you have to do. Think about the order and get the, get the stuff done that could really throw your card off like a crooked greeting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, oops, I still need this. I'm going to take the Wisteria Sprig, and we're going to ink that up. And I'm kind of going to do the same thing that I did on the last card, but in a little different way. Let me move this out of the way. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going up and down. Move it this way. Move it that way. bit more maybe there we go okay that's what I did with this one now I'm gonna come in with the color Let me move this card because I just know it's gonna fall in my ink pad I'm gonna come in this is the gorgeous grape and here's my two-step stamping again and I'm gonna get louder because I'm going to be standing up yeah you know I couldn't stand up and stamp because I could never see your comments even though I can see the top of my phone right now, I cannot read it because of my glasses. It's too close to my face. It just would not work. So again, this is the gorgeous grape, and I'm just stamping it all over. I know it looks kind of crummy right now, so just give me a second. Don't give up on me. <laughs> Don't. Keep believing in me. Keep believing in me. Okay, I'm going to clean off my stamp. And now we're going to go with the, whoops, with the Highland Heather. I just dipped that in the ink. And here we go. And now I'm just going to kind of fill in with the Highland Heather. There's no spots for it. There's another piece of hair. Sorry, you guys. Just fill in those white spots with some of this other color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I want some more right right here. I need some more color right in here. And here. And I'm going to even turn it over and get some more color in here. There we go. Maybe a little bit more right in there. Okay, now the other thing that I want to do is put in just a pop of green. So we're going to come in with that granny apple green and we're going to add some color here. And you can even add some color where you don't even have any leaves stamped because, like, at this point, you can see what I've done here, right? I'm just going to put some in kind of the whiter areas so that I've got greenery up here. Just like that. Here's another white area. Boom. I love that little pop of green in there. Okay, let me clean this mess off. I got a little carried away with my ink pads. I was pushing too hard. Somebody says in Texas you can put a saddle on them. What are we saddling up? Mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, in Wisconsin, uh, yeah, you don't run the gamut on the big mosquitoes there. We have them. Pretty vicious, too. I just saw on the news today where they have ticks. It was a report on ticks in Wisconsin that give you some type of an allergic reaction that make you allergic to red meat. That's just great. And you know, ticks are just worthless. I absolutely despise ticks. Like they give you the heebie-jeebies and they're so disgusting. And I think there are lots of other bugs that animals can eat besides ticks, so we need to get rid of them. That's just my personal opinion. All right, I'll get up the I'll get off the tick hating bandwagon. I don't want to hear from any of my tick animal rights activists. I'm just totally kidding. <laughs> oh, maybe they're out there. I doubt it. Who cares about ticks? They're gross. My brother sat on a tick nest one time when he was hunting in the woods. Can you imagine? Oh my lord. Okay, so I put this 
black layer on dimensionals, and that's just going to add some real interest to this card. What do you guys think? Is, is that not just the coolest? Now, the next thing, the last thing that I want to do, I'm going to take some of these iridescent green. Um, these are a self-adhesive self -adhesive sequence. And I'm just going to pop some of these in. Now, you're not going to be able to see them really very well. But they're, they're iridescent, so they're going to sparkle when we look at the card. And it's like, whoa, what's that? That's kind of cool. Oh, let me put it on the right way. How about we put the adhesive part down on the card would be good. And I just kind of sprinkle those along the top of my card. And I don't know if you can really see them or not, but just trust me, they're there and they're cool. <laughs> okay. And there we go. There is our really cool card. Now we've got two of them here. They're both purple. And of course, you can make them any color you want. I think with Syria... I don't know what colors. Who are my flower ladies? I need the flower. Oh, look at that. Flower children, please tell me, do wisteria come in other colors? Because I have no idea. I know what they are, and I like them, because I am a flower lover. But I don't know what other colors they might come in. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you so much, you guys. You are so sweet. I just really appreciate that. And I thought they were really pretty, too. And they're really easy to make. So my suggestion with this is you can you can just do, you know, one stamp. You can just stamp this once. And I got a mess here. But you can also stamp it a bunch of times to make it more substantial. And then take that two-step stamp, the, you know, the second step, and add some more color, maybe with a lighter color like I did with the Highland Heather. I think that was a pretty ingenious idea, if I do say so myself. And it does kind of remind you of grapes, doesn't it? Okay, so we used to have Wisteria Wonder ink. Oh, yeah, that was purple, too. So is it just purple? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe. Okay, let me put this away. Now, I have a fun fold to share with you guys. It's the one that I made today, so hopefully I didn't do too bad on these, right? seeing that I made them last week, and I didn't forget, you know, too much. But um, this one I just made today, and I hope that um, I got a card. I'll share that with you, too, in just a moment from Jane DeGroff. I think she won something tonight. Yeah, she did. She was one of the winners tonight. I got a card from Jane, and oh, before I go too far, let me share this with you. Yeah, this was from my um, blog hop. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, this is designer series paper. Perennial Essence, maybe? Uh, no, I don't know what it is. Um, it's one of the designer series papers, one of the flowery ones. But this was the card that I did the no line water coloring with. So you've got three different really pretty cards here with that stamp set. All right, so now I'm going to put all this stuff away and move on to the next one. So hang tight. White. There's white wisteria, Sharon says. Sharon, I hope you're feeling better. Sharon's been sick for a while. I feel bad for her. All right, next. I decided to go with this strong and beautiful. This is a great word set, and I just needed a word set. So that's what I brought out. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to show you Jane's card when I get done making this. Whoops. Um, I hate it when that glares in the screen, and I can see it glaring right now. It's not changing very quickly. Patty Hall is in Niagara Falls, Canada. You lucky dog. I have never been there. Um, my parents went there for a honeymoon, but I have never been to Niagara Falls. Maybe that should be on my bucket list. We'll see. Have a good time, Patty Hall. I'm glad you're watching tonight. <coughs> okay. So, we have um, the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paper. You guys have seen me make some stuff with this. We're also using the Timeless Label Punch on this card. I'll move these out of the way for a second. And I told you we're using Strong and Beautiful. We're going to use some of the Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. And then... The Magnolia Lane Cork Embellishments. We've got all these little cork things in here. We're gonna we're gonna use one of those too. 
And this is a really cool, fun fold that Jane shared with me, and I'm excited to share it with you. So, let me get my cheat sheet out here. Hang on. i got to keep all my dimensions in one place. By the way, when this second video is done, because the first one got, the, you know, got cut off, I will put type all the dimensions for all the cards that are in tonight's Facebook Live above the video. So once it posts and you, you can watch the replay, if you look, it'll say see more. There'll be some, you know, like Facebook Live, 7119, blah, 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 and then it'll say see more or click here or I don't know, something. But that'll drop down into a whole bunch of links. It'll link right to my blog, it'll link right to my store, and all the dimensions will be right there for you. Okay, first things first here. Now, this is called a four-fold card, and it is amazing. I'm so glad you have tuned in tonight. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, there's my scissors. I lost these earlier. <laughs> I found them. We're bringing in our Simply Scored board, and what you're going to need for this particular card is... Oops, I think I forgot a piece. Um, yep, I did. Hang on. Is um, 12 by 12 card stock. Okay, we don't use that that often unless you're a scrapbooker. But anytime Stampin' Up! offers 12 by 12 cardstock, like they'll if offer it in a mini catalog, you can get three different colors of 12 by 12, blah, blah, blah. I always order it so that I have that. And you can also get packs of assorted, like the brights, this would be the neutrals, the brights, the subtles, the regals. You get a whole assorted 12 by 12 pack. So first things first, hang on, I have to cut out another little piece here. The base is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Okay. Two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I forgot one piece. Okay, so here we go. This piece is five and a half by eleven and a half. You're gonna put it into your simply scoreboard and you're going to score it at a quarter inch. Oops. Oh, you know what? Don't forget to take some wadded up wax paper, and if you rub this over your cardstock, your stylus is going to slide so much nicer. And this was a perfect example that it didn't want to slide. Now, people will ask me, does this affect your cardstock? Like, if you do this and then you're going to stamp on it, will it do goofy things to it? No, it doesn't seem to do anything to it. But I always just keep some wadded up tissue paper, tissue paper, this is wax paper, did I say tissue paper? Um, yeah, I keep this with my Simply Scored so I can just use it over and over again. So here comes my quarter inch score, and then we've got a score line at three and three quarters, and one at seven and a quarter on the long side. Then you're going to turn this so that your quarter inch score line is up at the top, and we're going to score this at five eighths of an inch. just like that okay now let me get rid of this this is a super super easy fun fold but you have to get all your pieces cut first so we're gonna go over that in just a second you're gonna take and you're gonna cut off oh crud I just messed it up hang on <laughs> hold your horses I gotta redo, because I just messed it up. So, forget what I just said there. Let me cut this again. By 11 and a half. Okay. We're gonna show you this whole thing again. <laughs> Wax paper, here we go. Quarter, a quarter of an inch, right here. Three and three quarters, seven and a quarter. Turn it so that your quarter inch is at the top up here. You're going to score it at five eighths of an inch, but not all the way. That's where I messed up. Only to this last score line right here. Okay, does that make sense? Only to right here. Okay, now we got some stuff to do. Boy, that was an easy fix. Whew. Okay, you're going to take your scissors. I like to use big scissors when I'm cutting big part you know, a long line of cutting because I tend to get a little hacky with the smaller scissors and I want this to flow nicely and look decent. So you're going to cut 
that top tab right off. Okay, does that make sense now? Just like this. All right, so let's get rid of this one because I blew it on there. <laughs> and then we're going to fold and burnish our edges just like this. Hang on, I'll show you in just a second. So it's going to be like an accordion. So it goes just like this. This is that bigger piece, and I see that it looks like I need to trim this a little bit. Where did my little scissors go right here? These actually get into the corners better. I'm just going to trim this just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this is what our card looks like so far. And then we've got this little panel here, and this is part of the card base also. This is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. This is all mossy meadow. I'm going to take my liquid glue. Let me get this. Let me get this bent down good. Okay. I am going to take my liquid glue. This little tab, the quarter inch tab is open. And I am going to add this piece right to the bottom. Okay, just like that. So now you have boom, boom, and boom. And we're going to cut off the rest of this little tab here. I shouldn't have put glue on there because I'm going to make a big mess out of my scissors, but I forgot. It's funny, the one that I just made today is the one that I'm really messing up, right? <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, there we go. Oh, Sylvia's going to Pilates class. Well, good for you. I went for my bike ride today. All right, so here's our card. Now we're going to decorate. And we've got all the different panels here. So I use the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. And I've got two pieces of Designer Series paper. These are both two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Then I've got two more pieces that are four and three eighths by three and one piece that is three and three quarters by five. So that's our designer paper. And again, these will all be typed up for you. Don't worry, you don't have to write these down. Next, what I've got is some base colors and petal pink is three and a half by four and three quarters. I've got a whisper white, hang on, I think that was wrong. And I'm really gonna confuse you and I'm sorry. This is three and a half by four and three quarters, the white is. So the petal pink is going to be three and three quarters by five. Then we've got two pieces here that are two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And one, whoops, two pieces that are four and three eighths by three. A scrap and a half inch slice of designer series paper. So. Let me show you how this works. Now, if you're like, oh my Lord, that's it. I am not doing this. That is too much. All it is is quarter inch increments. And this is a really, really cool card that Jane shared with me. And I will show you hers too. So you can see where I got the idea because she sent me this really cool card and she sent me all the directions with it. Like all the dimensions and everything. It was just the coolest thing, Jane. I, I was just so very impressed. Okay, so I'm gonna take, did I decide to do this side? Yep, I did. Okay, I'm gonna put glue on this one. And like I said, all these are just quarter inch increments and they're just slapped together. Here comes our white layer. This is gonna be the layer that you can write on. And isn't that just fun with that designer series paper peeking out behind that? This piece goes right here. I have some glue on my finger. Oh, I've got a baby wipe out. Hang on, I'm going to wipe it off because otherwise everything's going to stick to me. Let me make sure you get these straight. There we go. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, my screen is not scrolling again, so I'm just trying to keep up with comments and stuff. Okay, next. We've got these two petal pinks, and we're going to put those right here. And this is a great way, if 
you know, this is beautiful designer series paper. So this is a fantastic way to really show off that paper. Did you guys notice I didn't even do my hair tonight? I just got out of the shower and brushed it because it's pretty warm here in Wisconsin. And I am not in any way, shape, or form complaining about that. But if I would have put a hair dryer on my hair, oh gosh, it probably would have melted. <laughs> so I just left it wet. It really feels quite good. Okay, here we go. Oh, Steve Atchison joined. Well, hi, Steve Atchison. Was he on before you guys? I didn't even notice. I missed him. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. Okay, here's our other two pieces. So I am going to do one right here. One on here. These are just the stripes. And of course, you could do yours any way you want with any paper that you want, but this is what I'm doing. Here's the next one. And then we've got this one. I'm going to glue this last one is for the front. This is the smallest panel. I'm just going to glue that on there. Then we're going to take this scrap and we're going to stamp our greeting. And I think I'm going to use early espresso. And the stamp that I chose is from the Strong and Beautiful stamp set to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. Isn't that nice? What a nice saying. Like, if somebody sent that to me, I would be like, whoa. I don't think I deserve anything like that. This is for somebody who does something pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, then that timeless label punch. This will fit right in there. Isn't that pretty? We're going to take this and add some dimensionals to the back. Here we go. And I'm going to put this right on here, kind of right in the middle. And then I think what I want to do, I wanted to use this ribbon because this matches the whole thing. So I'm going to grab some of the twine. Yep, I think that'll, that'll be nice. And I'm going to leave it long enough to tie a bow. And I'm go one, two, three. Just like that. I love this Mossy Meadow linen thread. And it comes in a double combo pack with this suite. If you're gonna get any part of this Magnolia, I don't wanna be bossy or anything, but I recommend the whole suite everything coordinates with everything else. It is just so amazing and beautiful and it makes creating cards so much easier when everything's color coordinated, right? Okay, there we go. There's our little bit of linen. And then last but not least, whoops, something just fell off my desk. Oh, we're getting a little rowdy in here. I am going to... Oh, you guys are so sweet. Yeah, you know, Diana, how did he break his knee? I think he did something at the gym. And he said he heard something pop in there, but who knows? It could have been something else. You just don't know, you know? I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this cork leaf. Now, this is part of the embellishments that coordinate with the Good Morning Magnolia. Where did that case go? Oh, right here. Magnolia Lane Cork Embellishments. And I'm just going to put that little leaf right there. Isn't that just the coolest? Now I've got another card to show you that I made using the same layout. Just some different designer series patterns. And now that little um, seam that we added this to the front of the card with, the smaller piece, you don't even see it. It's like covered up by this layer. Get this straight. Okay, hang on a second. Thanks, you guys. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. Let me get a drink here. Okay. Get this out of the way. Let's 
Let's get this out of the way so I can show you the finished product. product. I think you guys are going to be like, whoa. Ready? Ta-da! Now, you could stamp some greetings on here. You could um, stamp and die cut a flower and put it here. You can do whatever you want. But this is basically your writing area. What do you guys think of that? Here's the other cool thing I thought of. So we have this whole pack. This is also, again, part of the whole entire suite with the magnolia. These envelopes that have silver embossing around them, okay? And <clears throat> it comes with, um, what do they call these? Envelope liners to go inside. And it also comes with cards that are already scored. You just fold them in half and you can use the magnolia sweet to make cards with this. You get a whole huge pack of these. I don't know. There must be 20 in here. So <clears throat> this is how you put the liner in. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, just a little bit of glue, and you're going to slide this down in here, center it, and that's how you line your envelope. I want this to end up, oops, come on, don't stick yet. All the way down in there, just like that. Isn't that nice? A lined envelope. This card fits in there perfectly. These envelopes are a little bit bigger. What do you think? Isn't that cool? So let me show you the other one I made. I think you're going to like this too. So on this one, I use Mossy Meadow as my card base. And... Oh, hang on. Something just happened to my live feed. Well, not my live feed, but I'm missing all of your comments. Because you just went away. Now you're back. This is my other one. This I used black as my card base. And more of the black designer series paper. I used the other ribbon combo pack. And then my layer that's under my designer series papers. I took these cards and cut them up and use them for layers. They're, um, I would call this a craft color. It's not crumb cake. Crumb cake is not as an intense of a color. Here's crumb cake. See the difference? Yeah, this is a craft color and I love it that it's kind of a little richer, but this is what I did. I cut apart a couple cards and used it as layers underneath my designer series paper. So we've got the Mossy Meadow and the black one. This one says, I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's take a look-see. Please make sure that you are sharing my video. You can do that while I'm getting things back in the screen so we can take a look at everything I've got going on here. Also, I wanted to remind you that I just released a new... Um, video, ex an exclusive video tutorial using the birthday, what's it called? Friendship? Friendship. Beautiful friendship. That's it. Whew. Sometimes that's hard, right? And let me grab that card. Here's that card. <clears throat> this is part of that. Blog hop on. Oh, I did a blog hop on Friday. Oh, I did one this morning, too. Yeah, I did two, actually, this morning. This is that beautiful friendship stamp set. So, I have a new online tutorial. If you place a minimum $25 order with me, you get that tutorial for free. Or, if you're a demonstrator and you don't want to order from me, that's fine. You don't have to. You can order it for $7. You're going to find it on my blog. It has six different video tutorials that are exclusive. You will never see them pop up on the internet any place. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Yay! Ingrid said she has a BFF like that. That's really sweet. Hi, Steve. I made a card. You made a card? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Look what he just made me. Happy 4th of July. Do you know what this is? This is a tortilla. Steve, that's great. Oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> Super funny. 
Okay, did anybody ask me any questions that I may have missed? Again, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're um, watching the replay, you can still click that share button. Help me out by sharing it. Make sure you click that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that. Head on over to my blog if you'd like to place an order. You're going to use this host code for at least a couple weeks here in July, maybe the whole month. You can always find that host code in the right-hand column on my blog. Um, I have an updated host code here all the time. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad you liked these cards. I was really pretty happy. Oh, Jane DeGroff. My gosh, Steve came in here and threw me off my game. So here's the card that Jane sent me that started all of this. Look at this. Isn't that just pretty? And Jane actually was my winner. So when you use this host code to put your orders in, um, first of all, it's part of my online VIP or online technique club, okay? You need to use that code. But secondly, you get entered in a drawing. Everybody who places an order with me all month gets entered in a drawing to win a free stamp set of their choice. Jane actually gave me the names of four or five stamp sets and said, you pick the one you want me to have. So that was kind of fun, and I did choose Winter Woods for her, and she said that's a perfect set for her. So I'm so glad. So Jane is thanking me for the Winter Woods stamp set. She was my winner for the month of May. And this is her beautiful card that started this whole thing. And look at this. She wrote up all the instructions for me, all the score lines, the whole deal. Jane, I loved it. It was so cool, and that's what we've got here. This is the same card using just different paper. So, so cool. All right, you guys, if you have any suggestions for me on what you'd like to see me make, um, let me know because I am always willing to take a look at those suggestions and see if it's something that I can incorporate into a Facebook Live. Always happy to do that. Please don't forget to put your orders in. That was, that's what keeps me bringing you free stamping classes, free videos, so I can pay my bills. I really do appreciate it. And if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Pop me an email. Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Kelly, at astampabove.com. Email me, and I will send you a catalog. You're going to love it. It's beautiful. Thank you guys so much for the happy birthday, the happy anniversary, the well wishes for Steve. I know he really appreciates it, too. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a blast in Greece, Sarah. You can bet your, bet your buns I am. And thank you so much, Sarah, for making my swap cards for me. I really appreciate that. Um, that just saved me a whole bunch of stress that I didn't need, right? Okay, you guys, it's almost 9 o'clock. I'm going to let you go. I'm sorry for keeping you so long, but we did have fun, didn't we? I think we did. You guys have yourselves a wonderful couple weeks. Watch for advertisements on whether I'm going to be live on Monday night or whether I'm going to do a Facebook Live not live on the 14th. But I will definitely do a Facebook Live not live on July 7th. And somebody said they hope that I can come to, they hope, I can come to you guys live from Greece. We'll see what our internet connection is like, and I'll see if I can do that. I would love that, too. I love to show you guys the ship, the whatever, the water. Um, it's always nice to touch base with you. When I'm on an incentive trip that you helped me earn, please don't forget that. I am forever grateful for everybody who is helping me achieve these huge huge milestones and earning the Stampin' Up! incentive trip is one of those big, big deals. All right, you guys, have yourselves a great couple weeks. I will be back with bells on, all rested up and ready to be creative again. Bye-bye.